since the launch of the Lucid Air, the internet has been humming with discussion as to whether or not Tesla would join in a range war with Lucid. The Air has the longest range of any of the production electric cars you can buy today, 520 miles, according to the EPA. That's a whole lot more than the Tesla Model S long range, which has an EPA rating of 405 miles. Elon Musk has talked publicly on several occasions about his plans to deliver a long-range Tesla electric vehicle for several years, but the model has not yet been publicly released. It's because things have changed, and here is why Tesla never made a long-range EV. Welcome back to New Vehicle Media, your go-to channel for EV stock. Quick reminder that subscribing's free and liking the video helps YouTube suggest similar content. Comments are loved and featured in upcoming videos. One of the most common reasons individuals don't shift to electric vehicles is because of range anxiety, which basically means that they're pretty worried that they would run out of power before reaching their destination. However, with the recent introduction of new models from a number of manufacturers, this is starting to change. Every year, more and more people choose to drive electric vehicles. Every day, more and more individuals are purchasing them, and this trend is expected to continue for the foreseeable future, too. Sooner or later, everyone will be driving an electric car. In the meantime, while Tesla outperforms the norm for the electric vehicle sector in terms of miles per recharge, the company still lags behind gas-powered vehicles and it's doubtful that it will ever catch up. However, as per Elon Musk, this is totally intentional. He said that Tesla is not interested in getting involved in a competition with Lucid or anybody else to see who can produce the most capable electric vehicles with the greatest range. Elon Musk says that Tesla could have made a Model S with 600 miles of range a year ago, but the CEO says that it would have made the electric car worse. Based on what Elon said, it doesn't seem like Tesla wants to manufacture vehicles with a range of more than 400 miles. Last year, when Tesla originally announced the new Model S, the corporation also launched a new Model S Plaid Plus, which effectively overtook the old Plaid as the company's highest performance model. For the Model S Plaid Plus, the company advertised that it could go more than 520 miles on one charge. They also said that it would go from 0 to 60 miles per hour in under 2 seconds. When it comes to the Model S Plaid, it replaced the Model S Performance, and Tesla claims it will have a range of 390 miles and will accelerate from 0 to 60 miles per hour in 1.99 seconds. Tesla, on the other hand, decided to discontinue the Model S Plaid Plus after CEO Elon Musk said that consumers don't actually want more than 400 miles of range. This provided Lucid with the potential to become the first and only car maker to provide an electric vehicle with a range of more than 500 miles. While Lucid is experiencing difficulties scaling up the production of the Lucid Air, the business is the only one delivering the car with a range of more than 500 miles. But Elon Musk says that range is not needed? Last year's interview with Joe Rogan, Musk asked why automakers don't offer supersized gas tanks that offer 2,000 miles of range. He said people have essentially come to the conclusion that transporting so much petroleum is not worth it. Obviously, some of these things may be done for the sake of bragging rights, but bragging rights will get stale quickly. That was last year, and now a Tesla superfan acknowledged that Lucid was the first to market with a 500-mile EV, but he added that Tesla would be the first to mass-produce one. Elon Musk responded to the tweet by stating that his company does not intend to produce a car with a range of more than 400 miles, despite that the company previously said it was capable of manufacturing such a vehicle. Musk said that we could have made a 600-mile Model S 12 months ago, but that would have made the product worse in my opinion as 99.9% .9 of the time you'd be carrying unneeded battery mass, which makes acceleration, handling, and efficiency 
worse. Even our 400 plus mile range car is more than almost anyone will use. You can see what Musk is trying to say here. Those results firsthand with Lucid Air versus Model S plaid drag competitions. Even though the Lucid has more horsepower, it is slower off the mark than the plaid, mainly due to the bigger battery pack and chassis frame required to support it. Musk clarified last year that once you have a range above 400 miles, more range doesn't really matter. There are almost no trips longer than 400 miles at which the driver doesn't need to stop for a restroom break, food, coffee, or other conveniences. In other words, the sweet spot for most customers is between 250 and 300 miles, where most consumers will be able to do all of their daily and weekly travel with the car with that type of range. Musk did not comment on how this might affect the new Roadster, which Tesla has advertised as having a range of more than 600 miles. However, Franz von Holzhausen, Tesla's chief designer, recently said that the production Roadster will be better than Tesla originally showed, although he did not comment on the range, which was originally more than 600 miles. Tesla seems to be shifting its attention away from the range of its vehicles in light of Musk's recent statements regarding long-range electric vehicles. Range of electric vehicles was critical when fast chargers were scarce and far between, and it still is critical today, at least for some. Traveling at 85 miles per hour on the super slab, towing a trailer, driving in sub-zero weather, and climbing mountains all takes a toll on the range, we all know that. So, it's not as if range isn't important. It's simply that being able to recharge on journeys in a half hour or less, as opposed to an hour or more, marks a significant change in thinking. Technically speaking, few of us would want to be behind the wheel for more than five, six, or seven hours at a time. We also, most of us anyway, are not driving more than a few hundred miles in a typical day and enjoy the luxury of recharging our batteries overnight. Given that the average EV motorist only plugs in once or twice a week, the range measure is a gimmick that has no relation to his or her daily driving requirements. Even more importantly, rapid chargers will soon be able to keep us charged while we use the restroom, have a cup of coffee, or stretch our legs. But hey, let us know what you think. Do we need long-range EVs? Or do we need super-fast charging stations? Gil Frank says the reason that we need long-range miles on EVs is so we don't have to charge so many times at stations when we travel. And that way, we don't get a bottleneck at the charging stations. So, when Musk says we don't need it, it's not totally true, and Tesla knows this, and so will the rest of the EV manufacturers in time. That should wrap things up for today. Keep in mind that subscribing is still free, and liking helps YouTube recognize your preferences. Thanks for taking the time to watch, and I look forward to seeing you in the next one.